Hello everybody, my name is Edson and welcome back to a brand of Edson's talk. This week it's that time of year again. E3 just around the corner. Um, as you guys see this, it's next week, um, 16th to the 18th. When is that? Is that like a Tuesday, I think? Something like that. Let me check. So it's 16th to the 18th of June, the conferences and everything. So what really matters to us is the 16th and 17th. Um, so yeah, that's Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Um, so, but what really matters to us is the conferences, the people that can't actually make the event and can't go to the event because it's press only. Um, yeah, it's uh, 16th to the 18th. The conferences this year, they've kind of changed it up. Um, so let me just get the list up. So we've got, where is the list? I lost the list. I just had the list. Where has it gone? There we go. It's on my other screen. Okay. So you've got, as always, you've got the EA, the Ubisoft, the Sony, and the Nintendo press conferences. Um, oh, and Microsoft. We got my Microsoft, damn it. <laughs> so there's normally the five press conferences, the main four being Microsoft, um, Sony, then EA and Ubisoft, um, and then Nintendo being the, the sort of used to be odd one out, but now um, because Nintendo sort of like do their own thing, they do it at weird times, they like last few years have not even attended and it's it's been weird um but they're actually attending this year i believe um and they're doing it in between all of the other press conferences so it'll feel like they're actually part of e3 this year whereas the previous years they didn't really feel like that um and on top of that you've got bethesda they they've got a conference which oh my god bethesda have got a conference um then you've got square enix and pc gaming show now not many people know what pc gaming show is it's essentially now i've got it here so obviously Bethesda and Square Enix, you know their conferences. Um, PC Gaming Show, it's AMD and PC Gamer. And PC Gamer is like a magazine, website, PC thing. Um, I put it on the first ever PC conference at E3, PC Gaming Show. Sean Day, uh, Sean Day Plot will host the show and will be joined by other speakers throughout the show, such as Blizzard Entertainment and Humble Bundle to make announcements. So... With Blizzard sort of making announcements on that, that's pretty big. I would imagine, they're not saying it, but I would imagine Steam is going to be there because Steam have literally just announced their, um, or just show, started showing off about a week ago, uh, a couple of weeks ago actually, their, um, their like Steam console slash Steam controller slash Steam play stuff on your TV. So I would imagine they're going to be part of that as well. I, I think that's going to be their surprise because everyone has a surprise in their conferences. I would imagine that's theirs. So I would definitely check that out for obviously Steam announcements and stuff. Square Enix. Um, I mean, there's not really much in Square Enix that I'm too sort of stoked about. Um, Bethesda, like obviously there'll be some games that come out of the Square Enix uh, or some things that come out of the Square Enix like they do out of all the conferences that I'm like, oh my gosh, I like that. Um, but I'm just going to talk about my sort of um, sort of like hopes and what I'm 100% going to be looking out for that I know is going to be there and a few other things that I'm going to be looking out for um, throughout all the conferences. So I'm just going to say when all the conferences are. This is UK time, people, I will say. This is BST UK time. This is for me. So the Bethesda conference is the 15th. So on the 15th of June, we've got Bethesda, Microsoft, EA and Ubisoft and they're 3 a.m. 5 p.m., 9 p.m., and 11 p.m., respectively. Then you've got Sony, Nintendo, and Square Enix on the 16th, which is 2 a.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m., respectively. Then you've got, on the 17th of June, you've got PC Gaming Show, which is 1 a.m. for um, UK. Now, the times on IGN, they've put UK times, but they've put GMT. It's currently BST, so I'm not too sure if they've actually put the correct times or not. I'm going to double check before everything st like starts and stuff because they they haven't put the right time zone. We're currently not in GMT. We're not in GMT for another four or five months. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but that's roughly when they are for me. So I've got a... I mean, there's a few of them that are decent times, like Microsoft's at 5.30, EA's at 9 p.m., Ubisoft's 11. The 3 a.m. Bethesda one's not good. The 2 a.m. Sony one's not good. And the 1 a.m. PC gaming shows one's not good. But anyway, all the ones that I miss, I'm just going to watch on YouTube like I did last year. I think last year I missed all of them because I was busy working and stuff. I may be the same this year. I'm not too sure. Like I might, I may be busy during them. I may not be able to catch them all. I definitely won't be able to catch them all because they're like on throughout the day. I, I'm, I must be doing something during the day. 
Um, so I'm, I'm going to miss some of them. So I'm going to watch them like later on and stuff. Um, but throughout the conferences, the, there's a few games that obviously from last year um, that I want to check out. Um, I always really enjoy the... My, my main conferences are Microsoft, EA and Ubisoft. They were the three for me. I've never had... I haven't had a PS3. I've never owned one. Never owned a PS4. Although I do actually... T I think I want to switch to the PS4 from the Xbox One. Completely different story though. Um, it's because I've always preferred the Xbox One. Um, all of my friends on the Xbox One, quite a lot of them have now recently gone to the PS4. Also, the, the exclusive and Xbox, the exclusives on Xbox One that I used to like, uh, Halo and Gears of War and stuff. Even though they're remaking the games, Halo 5's coming out, a new Gears of War is going to be announced at E3. I'm not bothered about them. They're not my things anymore, and there's nothing really to keep me on the Xbox anymore. So I think I'm going to eventually switch to the PS4. Um, I'm not too sure when. Um, maybe it'll be around my birthday time. Maybe I'll trade all my Xbox in and everything and then get a PS4. Maybe that'll be like my birthday thing in a month's time on July the 7th. It's my birthday. Um, maybe I'll do that because like to switch to the PS4, it's not going to cost that much. It'll cost probably about £100 for me because I could trade the Xbox in. I can trade the Xbox games um, and I'll probably only have to pay about £100 for the PS4 with a couple of games. Um, so it's not that much to actually switch. Uh, and obviously more friends are on the P PS4 now than they are on the Xbox. And then obviously I get to play all the PS4 exclusives that I've not been able to play. The PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 exclusives that I've not been able to play in the past years. Like Uncharted and stuff. So that's gonna that's a possibility. Um, but moving on to um, the actual E3 conference itself. There's a couple of games that got announced last year. So Mirror's Edge 2, that was announced by EA. It was just a live action trailer thing um, and hopefully we actually get to see some, actually no, there was a bit of gameplay, but not really gameplay if you go, I mean, um, it was all like scripted and done weirdly. Um, so Mirror's Edge 2, I, I can't remember what it's called. Um, they've got a name for it now. I can't remember what it is. It's like Mirror's Edge 2, I can't remember what it's called, but they, they, they've, they've got a name for it now. It's like Mirror's Edge Unity, it's so that's Assassin's Creed, but it's, it's something like that. I don't know. Um, so Mirror's Edge 2, I'm looking for actually some gameplay of that. I'm hoping we get some this year. Um, obviously, Fallout 4, which was recently announced with Bethesda having a conference, I think everyone knew Fallout 4 was going to be announced at E3 if it wasn't announced before. I think that's why they announced it now so that they can actually show something bigger. I think there's going to be an actual because. Everyone has a surprise that nobody knows anything about. Now Bethesda have already announced Fallout 4, which which is is good because it means they've got something that they've been working on that nobody knows anything about, which is going to be announced at E3, which I'm really excited for. Also for Fallout 4, I'm kind of hoping what they do is they re-release all the old ones. Well, from Fallout, for me, I would want Fallout 3. Fall, what I think they're going to do is they, they're going to say Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Re-released on the next-gen consoles, Xbox One and PS4. Here's the opening scene, like they did with Fallout New Vegas. Here's the opening scene to um, Fallout 4. And here's a new action trailer or something like that. I think that's what we'll get um, about Fallout 4. But I'm looking forward to that. Um, for me, also, a couple of like less big games that not many people have been that bothered about. But everyone knows it's going to be there. The new FIFA. I'm always interested in the new FIFA. The new, um, ti it's not Tiger Woods now, it's Rory McIlroy uh, PGA Tour Golf game. I really enjoy them. I'm looking forward to that. That's out like next month though. Uh, Black Ops 3, Call of Duty. Um, I'm looking for looking forward to that. Um, those are games that everyone looks forward to, that, but not sort of in my YouTube space. Not many of my friends, uh, not many of my subscribers and stuff are, are that are sort of interested in that. Um, and then the only other game that I'm 100% know that's going to be shown that I'm really excited for is The Division. Um, this was, so if anyone doesn't know Ubisoft, they what they do is they announce a big, huge AAA game uh, or attempt at a AAA game. I say attempt because a couple of them have been flops in the past, um, more recently with like Watch Dogs. Um, they always announce at the end of their conference ubisoft always every single time they announce a game that nobody knows anything about um a few years back it was Watch Dogs. um what was it the last time 
was it the, the division last year? I think it was the, the, the division last year. Um, and then there was something else the year before that. But every year, they show a game that's supposed to be out in two years' time that nobody has any idea about. Two years back, or whatever it was, or three years back, it was Watch Dogs. Last year, it was um, The Division. And this year, it's going to be something else. Um, I can't. I, I could go back and look at what the previous ones were, but it's just every time Ubisoft they announce something that's supposed to be released two years in advance, right at the end of their conference that nobody knows anything about. So I'm looking forward to whatever they announce. Um, but yeah, I'm also looking forward to what they show about The Division because I'm, I, that game looks so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, that's essentially all that I know about that I'm 100% looking forward to. There's going to be loads of weird games that pop up and weird announcements that pop up um, sort of in the running and obviously during E3. Um, so I'm looking forward to all of them. I'm going to watch every single minute of every single conference and like I did last year, jot down every single game that I want from it. Um, I think last year I had a list of about 22 games. Um, a few of them since E3 and to when they launch, I've decided that I'm going to wait until they're lower in price um, because they're like single player games and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'll do the same this year. I'll make a list and then probably next Saturday, unless I get my Loot Crate, I'm not too sure when uh, Loot Crate are going to be sending it. If not the following Saturday, you'll get a uh, an Edson Talks talking about my favourite things from E3. And I can ask you guys and let you guys and ask your opinions on what, what you guys are looking forward to. Um, so yeah, this is the pre-E3 Edson Talks. Um, let me know what you are looking forward to in, in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Bethesda, um, Square Enix and PC Gaming Show doing all doing press conferences? I am. The more press conferences, the better, in my opinion, because this is an event that every game company wants to show, um, show they get their stuff at, but no fans actually get to go. It's all press. Um, so it's interesting. Um, so the more press conferences means more live streams and more games shown to us as exclusives um, rather than just uh, game journalists that are not always 100% passionate about them. Um, so yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. I certainly am. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys are looking forward to. Uh, looking forward to be announced, what you hope to be announced, anything like that. Um, I'm sure I've missed some stuff, so let me know. And yeah, if you did enjoy this, please leave a like, please leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.